Welcome to Columbia Basin College's Power of Connection event. While it is not the same without all of you here on campus, we are thrilled you are joining us virtually tonight. I'm Rebecca Woods, president of CBC, and hosting with me, but from upstairs, is Andy Sterling, senior vice president of the Central Washington Region for Numerica Credit Union. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm excited to be a part of this extraordinary evening to help raise funds for student scholarships. Numerica Credit Union is proud to support higher education institutions like CBC and their students. The experiences that CBC offers its students represents a gateway to achievement, success, and living well. Tonight, we will hear from CBC students, see highlights from some of the college's incredible programs, and we have a few surprises, so stay tuned. Throughout the evening, to make a donation or bid on an auction item, simply visit our giving site at columbiabasin.edu slash give and create an account. If you prefer to donate via phone or by mail, those details are also on the website. And that website address is also at the bottom of the screen. All the auction items will be open through 1130 tonight, and you can view those on the website. Thank you, Andy. And thanks to you and Numerica for being terrific supporters of CBC and our students and a Gold Hawk sponsor for tonight's event. I would also like to give a huge shout out to our Power of Connection presenting sponsor, Bechtel, who we will hear from shortly. Bechtel has been a tremendous, longtime partner to the college, our programs, and our students for many, many years, and we cannot thank them enough. Joining us now from the foundation offices on campus is our foundation's board chair, Matt Peterson. It's great to be here, Rebecca, and a hello to everyone watching. I've served on the CBC Foundation Board since 2017, and as Rebecca said, I'm the current board chair. I serve because I want to help give our community members every chance to accomplish their educational goals. CBC delivers opportunities from Running Start, GEDs, and high school completion to more than 100 certificate, associate, and applied bachelor degree programs. But our students need scholarships this year more than ever to achieve their dreams. So thank you for spending time with us tonight, and thank you for giving. As Rebecca mentioned earlier, a phenomenal supporter of CBC students is our presenting sponsor, Bechtel. I'm honored to introduce Val McCain with Bechtel, who is the project director for the VIT plant in Hanford, and joining us tonight from the Bechtel site. Thank you, Matt and Rebecca. Bechtel is really honored to support this event, and most importantly, the students will benefit from the scholarship money we raise. I want to first thank the foundation staff, its board, and your administration and staff for all that they do. I appreciate that tonight's event focuses on the power of connection, and that's truly what this evening is about. Tonight, through our support of the foundation, we can help connect students with opportunities. The dollars we raise will help young men and women who may be the first in their family to seek an education past high school, a parent going back to school to pursue a career, or a young adult wanting to learn a skilled trade. All striving for better opportunities, and I'm proud that Bechtel can help connect them. Bechtel is a longtime supporter of CDC. We established a Hispanic Academic Achievement Endowment and have supported a student each year since 2008. The Bechtel Planetarium shows children the wonders of our universe, and this is our fifth year sponsoring the Power of Connection event. The Tri-Cities community is built on the power of connection, people coming together to create an agricultural industry, join the railroad, and notably help end a world war. I see the traces of this history every day at the Hanford job site. There is a special grit and resiliency among the workforce. And we're helping make history again here. In the next couple of years, we will turn dangerous nuclear waste into a glass form proven safe to store for hundreds of years. And this will happen because of people from all backgrounds, engineers, administrative assistants, pipe fitters, construction workers, electricians, many that have roots here at CBC. So very special thanks to all of you joining tonight. Together, we can help connect students to their dreams. Thank you again, Matt and Rebecca. Thank you so much, Val, and thank you, Matt. Scholarships are a bridge for our students. They connect students to their dreams. And without your support, many of our students would not be able to complete their education. Your donations from last year's Power of Connection event and those from other CBC supporters 
helped us raise $850,000 in scholarship funds. But there are still so many more students who need help. CBC students who have been impacted by the pandemic and students who have recently decided to return to college and finish their degrees. For those students, the CBC Foundation decided to open the scholarship application process again this fall and award another round of scholarships to support students during the winter and spring quarters. And your generous gifts tonight will help with these students. So I don't know about you, but I think it's time to pull out your event boxes. And let's chat with our catering sponsor, Kyle Simmons with CG Public House. Hey Kyle, I understand you're gonna help us all become Max or Mixologists. Take it away. Hello Andy and Rebecca and everyone watching tonight. I don't know about Master Mixologist, but we're gonna have some fun. While you're watching the event, you can also sip on a signature cocktail. Tonight we're featuring an old fashioned, which I'll show you how to prepare using all the ingredients in your event box. So let's start off with uh, some supplies that you're gonna need from your kitchen. Number one, you're gonna need a spoon, and then you're also gonna need a vegetable peeler and a shot glass. First, we're going to measure two ounces of bourbon and pour it into a separate glass that you're not drinking out of. You're gonna take your bitters. There's a eyedropper in your box that you're gonna use and about that much bitters, you're gonna do that twice. Then you're gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup right inside. Before we get that mixed, we're also going to peel our orange. You wanna just use the orange peel to season the glass. So we're going to peel our orange. You want a good size peel and you want to season it. So just squeeze it over the glass and then also rub it and just leave it in there. And then we are going to grab our ice cube that should have already been frozen. And you just want one ice cube. So the large ice cube is great because it doesn't water down the drink. Go ahead and mix everything in the glass that you're not drinking out of. Pour it over the ice cube and the orange. Garnish it with your two black cherries and you're ready to drink. Here's to an enjoyable night and fun for all. On behalf of our entire family here at CG Public House, we're excited to give away a surprise $50 gift card to our restaurant for one lucky Power of Connection ticket holder. Thank you for being here and enjoy your night. Cheers. Mmm, -hmm. mm. delicious. Thank you, Kyle, and CG Public House for preparing the food and helping deliver event boxes to our program sponsors. We also have a surprise from our wine sponsor, Book Walter Winery. John and Gretchen have graciously donated a bottle of wine for each of our sponsors and two bottles of wine for us to give away to another Power of Connection ticket holder. Thank you both for sponsoring tonight's event and for your generosity. Aaron with the CBC Foundation is here to draw the lucky winners. Thanks CG Public House and Book Walter Winery for all you do to support CBC and our students. The winner of the CG Public House gift certificate is Renee Fink. The Book Walter Wine winner is Jake Tucker. Congratulations to both our winners. We will post your names on our giving site, columbiabasin.edu slash give, and we will be in touch to get the gift certificate to you. And now back to Rebecca and Andy to highlight some of our terrific students. Thank you, Erin. CBC's programs help meet evolving industry needs and prepare our students to succeed in our community. So next, we're going to hear from some of our Hawks. Our first highlight is a student from CBC's Cybersecurity Program. The talented students in our Cyber Hawks Club annually compete at the National Cyber League competition and regularly place in the top 15 amongst four-year universities such as California State, University of Nevada, and Colorado State. This national ranking is an incredible and well-deserved achievement. To tell you more about the cybersecurity program and share her story, here is Tina. When technology is in the news, it's usually for two reasons. A new idea or new technology is coming out or there's been a cyber crime. Hi, my name is Tina and I'm a cybersecurity student at CBC. I moved up here three years ago and I learned about CBC when I was researching local colleges for my own children. And that's when I learned about the four-year program in cybersecurity and I instantly became interested in learning more about that. Cybersecurity is a field where you're always on the forefront of what's going on in the world and that really fascinates me. It's a fairly new degree. It's not something you hear a lot about nationally. I don't know, I think there's a little bit of pride that comes from 
going towards a degree that's new too. It's, it's a conversation starter. You know, when I will talk to employers about why I pursued that degree, I know it's gonna stand out. I chose to go to CBC because of their involvement in the community, because of their connections with the lab. I knew that the education I would receive here wasn't stale, wasn't dated, and since technology moves so fast, that's really important. I also enjoy that CBC is affordable. When we moved here and I learned about CBC for the first time, I had this epiphany moment that going back to college was a possibility for me, and that was the first time that's happened in my adult life. I'm a recipient of the Case Family Scholarship. Receiving this scholarship to me means that my dreams have been validated, that it's not just a pipe dream, that I'm working towards something tangible, and it's not just me that sees that, other people see that, and they're willing to invest in that. Thank you, Case Family. Your generous contribution to my education has meant the world to me. I will never be able to thank you enough, and I will treasure your gift the rest of my life. I absolutely love what I do because of stories like Tina's and the remarkable giving spirit of this community. And now here's a look at our first live auction item valued at $1,600. This item is a private dinner and wine tasting for eight with John and Gretchen Bookwalter at their fiction at J Bookwalter restaurant. This unique experience, it includes a champagne starter, followed by current wine releases, perfectly paired with culinary delights. The evening ends with a nightcap from the Fable Craft Bar. Special thanks to John and Gretchen Bookwalter. Visit columbiabasin.edu slash give to bid. You can also view and bid on all the silent auction items on the website. Thank you to all our amazing supporters who donated trips, services, and goods for this event. For everyone watching tonight, you can see the names of these companies or people listed on our giving site. Please help us thank them. Be sure to get your bid in before 1130 tonight when all the auction items on our giving site close. If you have not been to our giving site, please check it out at columbiabasin.edu slash give. You'll need to create an account to bid on any of the auction items or make a donation for student scholarships because that's what tonight is all about raising funds for students who need our support to start or continue their educations. Our next student is from CBC's dental hygiene program. What we may not know is that CBC has a dental hygiene clinic on their Richland campus where students treat the oral health of community members in need. Student technicians serve around 4,200 patients every year at the clinic as they learn from expert faculty members. To share her story, here is one of CBC's dental hygiene students, Marisol. I knew there was going to be a lot of costs that came along with this program, a lot of tools, equipment that I was going to have to buy and I tried to save up a little bit but I feel like it's never quite enough. Hi, my name is Marisol and I'm a student at CBC's Dental Hygiene Program. I chose Dental Hygiene because I've always had an interest in the dental field ever since I was young. My parents worked in the fields a lot, they were field workers. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of moving around. We were living at a campground at the time. There was a lot of healthcare providers, public services providers that would go out and educate us because otherwise we wouldn't know anything about our oral health. It really impacted me and it really made me want to be able to do that for other people that don't have the same opportunity, just like I didn't. Once I finish my bachelor's degree, I want to go ahead and work in public health or community health organizations where I can reach out to people in underserved communities. I like teaching other people. I feel like it helps me learn better and it helps me become better at what I already know. Kind of like enforces my knowledge and I would like to make a difference in other students' lives as well. I am a recipient of the EA and Sue Curtis scholarship award. This scholarship is going to help me focus on my academics rather than having to worry about my financial situation. The generosity of receiving a scholarship inspires me to want to give more back to my community as well. I want to be able to be in a financial position where I can offer help to other students who are struggling in any way and offer that support to them like it's been offered to me. I would like to thank the donor of my scholarship for making it possible for me to continue my education. This really has made a big impact in my life. I just feel like any donation can make a difference for any of the students here and 
I can say we are all very grateful for the investments that you have put into our future. Thank you, Marisol. It's exciting to see you work towards accomplishing your dreams. Congratulations. And now, here's our second auction item valued at $2,400. This is our Home for the Holidays package, featuring $1,000 towards a custom holiday lighting installation service by Senske, a holiday floral arrangement from Lucky Flowers, and a house cleaning by Durashine Clean. Hey, Carlos and a couple's massage from Nouveau Day Spa. Thank you, Chris and Jenna Waltz. Don't stress out during the holidays. Let these incredible companies get you and your home or office ready in style. Thank you to Sensky, Lucky Flowers, Durashine Clean, and Nouveau Day Spa. Again, please visit columbiabasin.edu slash give by 1130 tonight when all auction items on our giving site closes. I wanna reiterate, columbiabasin.edu slash give to bid or make a generous donation. CBC's agriculture program has had many exciting changes this year with the addition of several new degree opportunities that are endorsed as career launch programs by Career Connect Washington. These programs combine on the job experience with high quality classes. And here is one of CBC's agriculture program students, Aspen. It probably started with my grandmother because she had a farm growing up and I really enjoy the STEM field. I really enjoy like chemistry, biology. Um, those are some of my favorite subjects to study. So it all kind of fits together perfectly. Hi, my name is Aspen and I'm a student in CBC's agriculture program. I chose CBC because it has a lot of really good base classes for a bachelor's in veterinary science. There's a bunch of different pathways from CBC that are open to me and so this is a really good place to put my roots down and to really start getting a lot of my prerequisites done here so that way when I move to a four-year university it's a little bit easier because I have already a lot of the base stuff down. Getting your bachelor's and your doctorate takes eight years Students can be anywhere from $100,000 to $150,000 in debt, so saving money where I can is definitely a big factor. I was awarded the Walter and Ethelyn LePage Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship means so much to me because it means that I won't have to bother my parents for money, so I can hopefully be a little bit more independent in my schooling. It also means a lot to me because I like to think that people who are putting money into CBC, they'd like to see students um, who come out and serve the area that they want to see served. Hopefully I will live up to that expectation. Thank you so much for providing me with this scholarship. It's meant a lot to me and my family. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and this chance to be able to continue my dream and show you that I am going to be a really well-rounded student because of this experience. Thank you, Aspen. What a bright future you have. Thank you so much. And before I go, I have the surprise for the Power of Connection ticket holders. Each year, we grow beautiful flowers and plants in the greenhouse and sell them to raise money for the program. Well, tonight, two ticket holders will each receive a $50 gift certificate good for our next sale in the spring so they can pick out what they would like to take home. And now, I'll turn it over to Erin Fishburne, Executive Director of the Foundation, who will help with the drawing. Thanks Aspen, and thank you to the Ag Program for the gift certificates. The winners are James Bradford and Betsy Nelson. Congratulations! We will post your names on our giving site, columbiabasin.edu slash give, and we will mail the certificates to you. Congratulations to you both. Now let's take a look at our next live auction item valued at $1,500. This is a top value photography session from award-winning photographer Brittany Clues, who has been voted the Tri-Cities Best Photographer consecutively since 2012. The package includes Brittany's signature, artistic hand editing on your favorite 20 images, along with the final proofs of all images from your session on a USB flash drive. You will also receive a 16 by 20 printed canvas of your favorite photo from the shoot. Our thanks to Brittany Clues Photography. Please visit our giving site to find out more and to bid. Remember, you will need to create an account and bidding for all auction items will remain open until 11.30 tonight. CBC's art program is very diverse. It covers music, theater, and visual arts. 
Representing the arts program tonight is the award-winning CBC Jazz Band. Let's watch a special performance that was recorded before the pandemic that also features a CBC Jazz Choir student. Wow, what a fantastic performance. Thank you, CBC Jazz Band members, led by Colin Wilson. And there will be an encore performance to end the evening. Before we see our next live auction item, we have another surprise. Our arts program has put together two Hawk swag bags full of CBC items that we are going to give away. Aaron with the foundation and a special guest are here to draw the winning names. Aaron? Hi, Andy. I'm here with our CBC mascot, Thunder the Hawk. Thunder's looking pretty stylish in his brand new CBC gear. And for everyone watching tonight, you're getting the first look. Okay, Thunder, let's pick some winners. The first winner is Stephen Ashby. The second winner is Kathy Hibbs. Congratulations, we will post your names at columbiabasin.edu slash give, and we will be in touch to get your swag bags to you. And now back to you, Andy. Oh boy. And here's our next live auction item valued at $1,500. You'll be ready for winter with this GE seven cubic foot garage ready chest freezer stocked with premium beef to feed a family of four. The package includes 20 pounds of ribeye steaks, 20 pounds of tenderloin steaks, and 20 pounds of New York meats. The beef is high choice to prime quality, pre-cut and vacuum sealed. No need to rush to the grocery store. Now you'll have premium beef on hand for a delicious meal anytime. Thank you very much. Tyson Foods. If you've not been to our giving site, please check it out at columbiabasin.edu slash give to bid on any of the auction items or make a donation for the student scholarships. Again, that's columbiabasin.edu slash give. Giving ends at 1130 tonight. Next, we're happy to have a student from our manufacturing technology program with us tonight. Students in this program learn about precision machining, and are national medalists in three back-to-back -back Skills USA competitions in CNC turning. These are our community's future machinists, mechanical engineers, and quality assurance inspectors. As you can tell, we like to brag about our amazing students. And here is one of those amazing students, Derek. My mom has been a single mom for about 16 years now, and she's taking care of me and my brother by herself. I am the first male in my family to ever go to college, or let alone graduate high school, and I want to do everything I can to make her proud. 
Hi, my name is Derek and I'm a student at CBC for the Precision Machinist program. The reason I chose CBC and the Precision Machinist program is I've always worked with my hands. I've always been in and out of shops with my father and my family in general. I wouldn't change this for the world. The experience I've already gotten alone after, what, five weeks of being here, it's already been amazing. I was awarded the John R. Ewalt Scholarship and that has helped immensely with planning out my plans financially and taking off a lot of the financial weight that it has on me and my family as of right now. My mom was working three jobs at the time and she's done enough for me after 18 years that that has given me the opportunity to take some of the weight off her. Thank you for this scholarship that you have allotted me and the this has helped me out immensely and I honestly don't think I'd be able to come to CBC and do this consistently without it. Thank you, Derek. We look forward to seeing you graduate and do great things in your career. The next auction item is valued at $1,500. This item is a dinner for eight in the Musser family's beautiful airplane hangar in Pasco. The evening includes a five course meal prepared by CG Public House, along with a specially paired flight of wines with each course. Your evening will start with award-winning wine, champagne and bourbon, and end with a dessert port. Plus, a friendly flight crew will be there to serve your every need. Special thanks to CG Public House and Scott and Teresa Musser. Until 11.30 tonight, you can bid on this or any of our auction items or donate to support our student scholarships by visiting our giving site, columbiabasin.edu give. And the web address is also on the screen. CBC's Veterans Program is recognized as a U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Yellow Ribbon Program and serves around 400 student service members and veterans each year. Let's hear from one of CBC's outstanding student veterans, Yvette. During my time in the military, I met my husband in Korea and we came here to Washington State and I had our two boys and I, I turned a corner. I never thought I would have children and here I have two wonderful boys and I suddenly just became a mom. Hi, my name is Yvette and I'm currently a student here at CBC. When my oldest um, actually tested to come here to Running Start, um, he was successful and passed the exam and started coming to school and I thought, I should do that. So when I started here at CBC, my initial thought was I'll take a couple of classes and see how it goes. I didn't have a degree in mind and I was not degree driven or career driven whatsoever. So when I was taking my courses, um, I saw there was a flyer for an EMT introductory type of informational class. And I decided, oh, that sounds interesting. I fell in love with the idea that I could actually help somebody and be properly trained to do so. CBC means the world to me. It's such a wonderful community, family, college. I never felt like I was not supported here. I've always been very supported here, and it's a wonderful school. The CBC Foundation of Scholarships has allowed me to succeed because when I was stuck in a semester where I could not afford to pay for that class, they stepped in and helped to assist me with that. I want to thank the CBC Foundation and Sue Frost for all that they've allowed me to achieve through their generous donations. Um, it's allowed me to finish my associate's degree and it's been a huge self-esteem booster. Thank you so much for helping me to become the person that I am today. Thank you, Yvette, and thank you for your service to our country. You are so inspiring to current students and future generations who want to pursue a career in firefighting or EMT. Okay then, time to get out your wallets for our final live auction item, which is valued at $1,500. This package is a four-night getaway for you and seven of your family or friends to a three-bedroom, three-bathroom private home with a loft. You and your guests can relax in the warmth of the sun or enjoy the soul-soothing tranquility of a crackling fire. Or you can play a night away in the game room with a pool table. The home is conveniently located by the village at Sun River in Central Oregon with nearby shopping, golf, skiing, and other excursions. Sun River is a resort community with a world-class recreation year-round, making it a top choice for outdoor enthusiasts and families alike. Our thanks to Brian and Sue Brindle. 
Be sure to bid on this or any of our other auction items before 11.30 tonight by again visiting columbiabasin.edu slash give. That's columbiabasin.edu slash give. Wow, you've heard from some of CBC's outstanding students tonight. And you've hopefully figured out by now our Power of Connection event. It's all about CBC students and helping them in the best way possible by raising scholarship funds. And you've seen the auction items and many of you have bid on those as well. Thank you. At this time, please consider giving a monetary gift by raising a paddle for CBC students. Please visit our giving site and you can donate at any of the levels we are about to call out or another dollar amount. Every gift, no matter the size, really does make a difference for the students. We're excited to start by sharing a challenge gift from our platinum sponsor, CH2M Hill. They will match the first $10,000 in donations tonight to help even more Hawks. So your gift can help double the impact. Thank you, CH2M Hill, for your generosity and support of CBC students. Moses, tell us why you and CH2M Hill support CBC and its students. Thank you, Andy and Rebecca. Allow me first to start by thanking you all for being here with us at this event. And also thank our superheroes, the foundation staff, for all their efforts to make this event happen. CH2M Hill and Jacobs are committed to investing in the future workforce of the Tri-City community. We believe an essential piece of well-trained employees is education, which is why we are so proud to support Columbia Basin College and its students. A donation towards education is a life-changing gift to the individual, to their families, and to the community. As past chair of the CBC Foundation Board, I can assure you that the college and the foundation work tirelessly to educate and support our local students. And as Andy shared, I am honored to announce that CHUM Hill is challenging all those watching to invest in our community's future. CHUM Hill will match the first $10,000 in the total power of connection donations dollar for dollar. I encourage you to join us in supporting CBC students by making a financial contribution tonight to assist Hawks in need. Andy, I would like to send, it, send things back to you to get the bidding started. Thank you. Okay, let's start at $5,000. Your donation of $5,000 can provide up to five student scholarships to help Hawks achieve their goal of college education. Go to columbiabasin.edu slash give and select the $5,000 raise a paddle level to make a major impact for CBC students. Our next raise a paddle level is $2,500. Your $2,500 gift can assist a hawk needing housing assistance at Sunhawk Hall. Resident Life partners with Campus Resources to deliver an environment within student housing that supports academic achievement and student engagement. $1,500 is our next raise a paddle level. Your $1,500 donation can provide a one-year scholarship for a CBC student. If you can, please donate this amount tonight and know that you are giving a CBC student the chance to continue college for another year. If this is the right amount for you, please donate on our giving site. The website address is on the screen. Up next, $1,000. Your $1,000 donation can help two of our health sciences students pay for some of their mandatory costs and purchase the personal equipment to be ready to enter their degree program. These include personal protective equipment, specialized tools, immunizations, testing, background checks, and more. Okay. $500 raise a paddle value. Did you know that your gift of $500 can provide a scholarship to one of our career and technical education students to help them pay for the tools and equipment they will need to succeed in the program and their future careers? Can you give $500 to help a CBC student? Please go to columbiabasin.edu slash give to donate. Up next, $250. Who will raise a paddle and give 
With a $250 donation, you can help pay for a student's textbooks for a quarter. And our students are grateful for every donation. And every gift lets our students know that they have community support. To donate this amount, please visit our giving site now. Our final raise a paddle level is $100. $100. Your $100 donation can help a student feed their family for a week or provide a gas card to get a hawk to and from work. Your donation of any amount helps support CBC students in this time of critical need. Please visit columbiabasin.edu slash give and donate now. We cannot thank you enough for all you do to help CBC and our students. All of our volunteers and community supporters are critical in helping us provide high quality programming. Each year, we recognize an outstanding alumnus or alumna who has bettered our community through their accomplishments or service to CBC. We are excited for you to be the first to hear the person we have selected as CBC's 2021 Alumnus of the Year. This individual started CBC's nuclear technology program and has been a driving force in the success of the program, industry partnerships, and opportunities for its students. Drum roll, please. Without further delay, our 2020 to 2021 Alumnus of the Year is Lloyd Keith. To tell you how Lloyd has made a difference for our students and this major industry in our community, we have asked a few people to share how he has made a difference. My name is Katie Lyons Holstein. I'm the CTE Director at Columbia Basin College and I'm responsible for the Nuclear Tech Program. Uh, my name is Willis Keith. My father, Lloyd Keith, was recently named Alumni of the Year here at CBC. Hi, my name is Nadia. I am a graduate of the CBC Nuclear Technology Program. Lloyd works at WRPS, Washington River Protection Systems, and because of his job there, he saw a need within the nuclear community locally uh, to replace an aging workforce over time. That My dad's passionate about uh, CBC and the Nuke Tech program because he's, he's really been a lifelong teacher. As an instructor, he impacted me immensely. Everything that I know, I owe him. Everything I, I, that I am, I owe to him. Student success is very important to Lloyd. Lloyd does not see the student experience at CBC as the only thing helping students. I think my dad's deserving of the Alumni of the Year Award uh, really because of just how much effort he puts into this. He's a great instructor, a great mentor. He works for his community. He works for his students. Lloyd has been integral in helping develop some scholarships specifically for nuclear technology students through corporate donations to our foundation. Lloyd has helped develop curriculum. Lloyd has also taught our internship class for many, many years where the students not only go and get a internship or co-op position on site and work, he also mentors them through that process. Lloyd is one of the best people I've ever met. As an instructor, he impacted me immensely. Everything that I know, I owe him. Everything I, I, that I am, I owe to him. Congratulations, Lloyd. On behalf of everyone here at the Nuclear Technology Program at CBC, we're very proud of you. Dad, I want to personally congratulate you for getting this reward. I've seen over the years how much dedication and time and effort you've put into this from start to finish. and. I, I think it's awesome that you're getting the recognition that you very definitely deserve. Congratulations on your award. You're so deserving of this award. You've helped me so much. And I'm so grateful for everything you've done. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you. You're a good instructor, great instructor, good man, and a good friend. And I thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Woods, to you and the foundation for selecting me as CBC's Alumnus of the Year. I'm honored beyond measure to be selected from the thousands of worthy people that have passed through this institution. I hope I can live up to your expectations. I still vividly remember the first time I ever visited CBC. I don't remember the exact date, but I do know it was sometime during 1980. I brought my girlfriend all the way over from Waitsburg to register for classes. Unfortunately, this was only for her. 
I was home on leave from the Navy at the time. After doing what we now call running start at Walla Walla Community College as a senior in high school, I had chosen a different path in life. It wouldn't be until 1990 that I registered for my first class at CBC, and I went on to attend other institutions and earn other diplomas. But I always remember the education and the memories from CBC, even if most of the buildings I remember are gone now. And even now, many years later, having been an adjunct professor here for CBC for 10 years, I continue to build memories and relationships as I, like all of you, try to give back what I can to the next generation of students coming through. I'm proud to tell you that my son followed me here at CBC. He also has followed me as an adjunct professor. Receiving this honor, certainly the high point for me as an individual. But as a father, well, thank you again. Thank you very much, I'm very honored. Congratulations, Lloyd. Now it's been an incredible night However, we have one final surprise as we sign off, and that is an encore performance by the talented CBC Jazz Band, recorded before the pandemic, to listen to as you enjoy the rest of your evening. Remember that you can donate or bid on any of the auction items or make a donation until 11.30 tonight at columbiabasin.edu slash give. Again, that's columbiabasin.edu slash give. We cannot thank all of you enough for watching and for your donations tonight and throughout the year. You do make a significant difference in the lives of our students. Thank you to all of our donors of live and silent auction items, as well as our incredible sponsors for tonight's program. And thanks to CH2M Hill for your generous Raise a Paddle challenge gift. Just amazing. And special thank you to our Power of Connection presenting sponsor, Bechtel for the financial support and everything else you do to support our students and programs. You are an incredible partner. We look forward to celebrating with you, hopefully in person next year. Now please enjoy this performance by CBC's Jazz Band, and good night, everyone.
Thank you. 